Moon Knight's final episode was released today and I want to break some of it down including the post credits as well. This episode was really really good and I would even put it above the whole TV show above Daredevil's TV show and I have Daredevil in at my number one. If you're new here please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Star Wars, Marvel and DC and gaming content. Also check out my TikTok, Twitch and Hover links to them are down in the description below. I really thought this episode was going to have a longer runtime instead of just 44 minutes long which is a typical TV show and we got a lot action packed stuff that happened in this episode. The opening scene we see Arthur Harrow's men grab Marks as Stephen's body out of the water and take the little statue of Amit from him and says who wants to heal the world. Then Arthur and his men leave the tomb where Layla goes to Mark slash Stephen's body and grieves the loss of Mark who she loved. We finally see her in disguise with the followers of Arthur's where they are stopped at a checkpoint where Arthur Harrow shows off the power of his staff claiming some of the souls of the police officers leaving one person alive for he is a good man. This is where Layla is sneaking up on Arthur going to kill him however she is stopped by Tawet tells Layla to break Khonshu free and if Mark can get back to life then they will basically have a chance to win and Tawet also says and then you can become my avatar. Where she goes along with what Tarot is saying and follows Arthur to the chamber of gods where the other gods have turned up in their avatars because the gods felt the disturbance where Arthur then enters the chamber and fight breaks out where Layla then runs off from the fighting looking for Khonshu's Unshabti the little statue to release him. Arthur Harrow makes quick work of the other avatars and breaks the Um Shabti that is holding Amit where we finally get to see Amit and where she says she had an avatar before where he was balanced in the scales however she doesn't want someone like that anymore because they locked her away. She wants Arthur Harrow to be her avatar because the scales lack balance and she knows he won't turn on her while this is all happening, Layla frees Khonshu, where Khonshu asks her to be his avatar, where she says no, and Khonshu then goes to try and stop Amit from leaving the chamber of gods and not destroy the world. Then the scene changes to Mark in paradise, where he is talking to to Toet, and he asks about Stephen, where she replies he is gone, and Mark wants to go back for him, where he begins to run away from paradise into the sands where he meets up with Stephen who has been frozen in the sand. And Mark says how he let Stephen down, that he didn't protect him. And while he is talking he is slowly being claimed by the sands as well. He finally puts his heart into Stephen's hand with his hand on top of it and they are both frozen in the sands. Where the door back to life then opens and they both break free of the sands and return to life. We then go back to Khonshu in the Chamber of Gods where he is fighting Amid and he is being beaten very very easily. Khonshu then senses Mark is back in the life plane or back to life and he goes to Mark's side where we see Mark suit up as Moon Knight leave the tomb he was killed in and goes to Khonshu where Stephen then takes over and asks how this whole arrangement will work where Khonshu has to agree because there is so much at stake. So basically he... Khonshu agreed to free Mark and Stephen after this whole thing is done. Then Mark takes over the body again and Khonshu changes it from day to night and Mark then flies into the sky and flies to where Arthur and Amit are. We then see inside the chamber of gods again where Layla is helping one of the avatars before he dies. He says how to trap Amit by trapping her in Arthur's body where she asks how can we do that where he replies saying we need more avatars than what are left and then he dies. Layla speaks to Tawet where she agrees to be her avatar temporarily where they go back and forth talking to each other in Layla's body and then we see Layla in the costume of Tawet and it looks so good. It kind of has Wonder Woman vibes to it. We see Arthur Harrow on the top of the pyramid chanting in ancient Egyptian where he is basically taking control of the bodies who are followers of Amit. And we see tons of stoles being taken from their bodies where Amit is feeding on them and she starts to become bigger and stronger. We then see Moon Knight, Mark Spector land and a battle between Moon Knight fighting Arthur Harrow. While both the gods Amit and Khonshu are fighting too and I gotta say this whole fight scene is 
amazing. It's truly well done and we see Layla come in and save Mark aka Moon Knight from being killed by Arthur Harrow and his staff. Where we see both Stephen and Mark comment on Layla and we see Stephen and Layla fight through some of Arthur Harrow's men and of course Mark and Stephen are both switching at times so we get to both see them fighting and I gotta say this whole scene is truly amazing. I was so hyped seeing them change from Mr. Knight fighting to seeing Moon Knight fighting. Something we've never seen before and it's so so good and well done. Get to Arthur and they are fighting him. They are actually beating Arthur but he fires at a bus full of people where Layla breaks off to save the people in the family bus van thing where Arthur gets the upper hand on Moon Knight and when Moon Knight tries to use his weapon against Arthur it goes flying towards Layla and actually has her pinned to the vehicle where Moon Knight is then on the ground and Arthur Harrow is standing over him taking his soul using the staff where both Mark and Stephen black out are shown Arthur defeated and he is about to kill him where Mark says this wasn't you was it Stephen where Stephen replies not a chance mate. Of course then Layla asks what the hell was that where he says he blacked out then they both look up to see Amit Dragon Khonshu where Layla says she knows how to stop Amit where they grab Arthur Harrow's body to bring it to the chamber of gods and begin chanting an Egyptian spell binding Amit to Arthur Harrow's body where we see Khonshu come in once the spell is done and say finish it leave none alive where Layla tells him he has a choice he is already free and Mark drops Arthur's body and tells Khonshu to do it himself where Mar tells Khonshu to release them which he does and we see him back in the asylum talking to Arthur Harrow as a doctor and then both Mark and Stephen realize Arthur is bleeding where Stephen and Mark kind of break free of that asylum and return back to their own body to Stephen's apartment where Mark asks is Stephen there where he replies mm-hmm we then see Mark hit the floor because he is strapped to the pole via his leg and then boom start to roll the credits however we got a post credit scene that shows Arthur Harrow in the asylum where a nurse is about to take him to his room for bedtime where a man speaking Spanish we don't know says he'll take him here we see this unknown man wheel Arthur out of the doors of the hospital in a wheelchair and while he is doing this Arthur notices dead bodies from where this Spanish man is speaking it seems like he killed these people. He then puts Arthur into the limo where Khonshu is in a white suit and they begin to talk where Arthur Harrow laughs and says Khonshu you cannot hurt us. Where Khonshu replies yeah wanna know something Mark Spector truly believes that after he and I parted ways I wanted his wife to be my avatar. Why would I ever need anyone else? When he has no idea how troubled he truly is. Then Khonshu taps on the window where the limo window for where the driver is and the back starts to roll down and Khonshu says meet my friend Jake Lockley. Where Jake looks at Arthur in the mirror then turns with the gun pointed at Arthur and says in Spanish today is your turn to lose. Then shoots him multiple times and the limo drives off. Some people thought it was going to be Bruce Banner just like we saw in Shang-Chi. Or it could be Blade like we heard in the post credit scene for Eternals. But no, it was Khonshu and we finally get to see Jake Lockley and the show ends there. It was an amazing, amazing Marvel TV show. And I would love if this TV show was maybe a, a few episodes longer, maybe 8 to 10 episodes longer to fully flesh out some of these characters. But... Everything about the characters, the world building, about ancient Egypt, about the Egyptian gods and everything like that was truly, truly amazing. And I really want a second season of Moon Knight. They could easily go down the path where Stephen and Mark find out who the person is because it's hinted when they both know that it wasn't them who killed the people in a previous episode and then he went crazy in today's episode. So we could have a second season where they are exploring this third person's identity and they find out Khonshu has been 
basically used in both Mark and Steven's body because Khonshu technically didn't release them. And I'm excited to see more of Moon Knight in the MCU. He's got to come in somewhere and come back somewhere. I know Oscar Isaac only signed on for a TV show, but I feel like he really loved the character and you could see he was a really, really good actor for this character. And I can see him reprise his role in other MCU projects, especially if they do the Midnight Suns. The darker side of the MCU as well, it just makes sense for Oscar Isaac to come back and he was an amazing Moon Knight. It's kind of, I would put it up there with, you can't replace Oscar Isaac as Moon Knight, just like you can replace Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man.